So yes, I know there's a brand new release date set for Jurassic World. I also know that they're in negotiations with a director. And I also know that every dinosaur YouTuber under the sun has done a 30 long minute video on a 30 second piece of news. The pencil in July the 2nd, 2025 as their potential release date and in negotiations with director David Letch. And he's got under his credentials John Wick, Fast and Furious spin-offs, Deadpool 2. And to be honest, I'd never really heard of him up until I just Googled him on this. But the main reason I wanted to do this video is lots of people always ask me to weigh in on my thoughts, feelings of the Jurassic franchise because I mainly do lots of theory videos and I will say they are pretty good ones at that but I never really talk about how I actually feel about the Jurassic franchise, how I actually feel about this new upcoming Jurassic World movie. Well that is until today and I'm not going to hold back so prepare yourself. Before we get stuck into the meat and bones though I would like to say one thing that my journey as a Jurassic YouTuber, Universal YouTuber, whatever you want to call it has been a tough one. Our community on the Shadows channel itself has been nothing but exceptional, absolutely superb, and supported me along the way. But other Jurassic Park slash Universal YouTubers, it's completely the opposite. In fact, they try to stunt my growth, constantly undermine me at every turn. And to the fact of the matter is, these YouTubers themselves are 10 times bigger than I even am. So it's quite disappointing to be a small YouTuber and constantly being pushed down by other big ones and getting accused of copying ideas and videos, which is impossible because we're all covering the same thing. No one owns the Jurassic franchise. No one owns these animals or theories. To say you own a theory or have owned this theory is absolutely absurd. For example, I did a video on the raptor stuck in the freezer. Clayton then does one a few days after. Would I dare say that he was copying me? No, of course I wouldn't. We share the love and passion of Jurassic. He did a video similar to mine a few days later. It's an interesting topic. I would never dare say he would copy. But certain other YouTubers seem to feel like they own the franchise and you can't do anything they have ever covered. Bear in mind they've probably covered these things themselves, which other people have already done. This led to this toxic culture around Jurassic content creators, which I just didn't really want to be part of. So I've kind of been my own little person in my own little pond. And I kind of shied away on giving my thoughts on the Jurassic franchise, the Jurassic content creator scene, and everything in between. And that is until today, because I feel that I can get this out now. I've got a big enough community behind me who thoroughly support what I do. So thank you very much. I'd also like to say that Best in Slot did reach out to me previously and did want to collab so thank you very much best in slot for trying to support me because this doesn't apply to every single jurassic youtuber and i don't want to tar everyone with that brush but there is a minority out there which are completely toxic and hateful now with that being said on the flip side jurassic itself has got some great things upcoming such as this new jurassic world movie which has been announced but i'm extremely apprehensive and extremely cautious about this for one they've already announced a release date with no director in sight. There isn't even one on board yet, they're in negotiations. There isn't a script, and to me, this is just screaming Jurassic Park 3 vibes. Now, whether you love or hate Jurassic Park 3, personally, I enjoyed Jurassic Park 3, we can't shy away from the fact that as a production, it was riddled with problems. I mean, they were still writing the script as they were shooting it, and that is because it was constantly changed, constantly being rushed, editors, directors, all changing hands. And if Universal are not too careful, the same thing could happen with Jurassic Jurassic Park 3. They rushed that out after the success of Lost World. Objection! Jurassic World Dominion, although it was met with mixed reviews and critique, in terms of financial monetary value, did extremely well for Universal. And obviously with the talk of the upcoming new expansion plans in Universal Studios Florida, the talk of Universal bringing their own park to the UK, they're going to need a lot of funding for this. And what's their main source of income? Well, films and Jurassic Park. So it makes sense to get more of these movies out faster, right? To make more money so they can invest it to make more money. Now, I don't want to come across as a complete negative Nelly because I absolutely love Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic World. As you can tell, my entire channel is based on it. I love, love, love it. So for the fact that I'm saying these things is deeply hurtful to me as a huge fan because I really want another good Jurassic movie. I feel we haven't had one since Jurassic World and that was okay. Fallen Kingdom in my eyes was mediocre and Dominion to me was just a car crash. I know we have the upcoming Jurassic Park survival game coming out, which is great because we're going to return to Isla Nublar. We can explore Isla Nublar to our leisure, and hopefully it is canon to the franchise. I've done videos on that, so feel free to check them out, whether it's canon or not. I believe it's going to be canon. But in terms of the film, I am extremely worried. I would love for it to return back to an old horror-type feel, much like the original Jurassic Park. Suspense, horror, that kind of feel. But this new director that they're in negotiations with, now let's 
just be clear, he isn't on board at the time of this video. They're currently in negotiation talks, but if they bring him on board, he's primarily action-based. I do not want Fast and the Furious with dinosaurs. I don't want to see Vin Diesel coming in talking about family to a T-Rex, and then all of a sudden gets on a Maserati with five Velociraptors behind him. It's just, just not what I want. I wanted to return to the original Jurassic Park franchise. Now, I know this potentially could alienate some of the, my subscribers because they may feel that this is negative. It's not negative. It's just the way I'm feeling right now. I want the Jurassic franchise to succeed. I don't want them to make the same mistakes like they did with Dominion, going along with dinosaurs and Taken. You know, it was a very strange combination. Dinosaurs being kidnapped, humans being kidnapped, it was Jurassic Park's Taken. They have a great opportunity now to remake or even bring a new story, as they say, to the Jurassic World franchise. Can't they just go back to Park, replace Jurassic World with Jurassic Park? Let's go back to Park rather than World. There's a whole period in history from Jurassic Park 3 to Jurassic World with Isla Sauna, all the dinosaurs on there, the Spinosaurus. Surely they could visit that. Isla Nublar was still going. That period of time from, what, 2001 to 2015 when they constructed Jurassic World it's a gap. They could have so many great stories on Isla Sauna. Even Isla Nublar, Biosyn spies being involved, trying to take dinosaurs off the island. There's so much which could be done. I don't want to go down another Fast and Furious dinosaurs route. Come on. But the other question has to be asked is, do you want to see returning cast members such as Ian Malcolm, you know, Chris Pratt, etc.? And the easy answer to that question is, no. They're amazing characters, yes. Maybe a cameo here and there, sure. But an entire movie based on them again? No. Let's go somewhere new. Let's bring a new Jurassic era in. I love the old films. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love them. They are my childhood. I love the characters. But the way they did them a dirty in Dominion just wasn't right. Didn't feel like the return they deserved. Let's future-proof the Jurassic. Let's bring characters in which we know have great backstories, great lore, and something we can build upon, rather than trying to reuse all the old characters. And Universal, if you can't do this, I can. I can do it. Get me involved. Because there's only so many times you can have dinosaurs loose on an island, people are involved, the dinosaurs have escaped, the people escape the island, you know how it goes. We can only do that so many times. Let's think up a brand new fresh story, reinvigorate the franchise, and build the Jurassic community stronger than it's ever been before. I'm hugely passionate about the Jurassic community, hugely passionate about my channel, or I wouldn't be putting everything on record right here, right now, laying all my thoughts down out in the open for you guys to hear. Essentially leaving myself vulnerable, but I feel I have to get all these issues from being a content creator and from being a fan off my chest. Because at the heart of things, I am a fan just like you, a massive fan, but also a content creator. So I wanted to talk about both and my journey. I know many of you watch my channel for a while now, and this isn't my usual type of video. I'm not sat in front of a camera preaching to you guys, but I am talking about my thoughts and feelings. And I usually do a lot of happy-go-lucky theory videos with a lot of humor mixed in. So this is a massive change for me, and I hope you appreciate it. But how do you feel about the Jurassic franchise, the way it's heading? Did any of this shock you today? But there is one thing I'd like to say before before I go. Can your day get any better? You bet Jurassic can. I'm Shadows. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'd like to thank my YouTube members who are on screen now. Thank you guys. I'm Shadows and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.